hi everyone in this example we want to see how you can create multiple files using mail merge now doing mail merge on word is not particularly difficult but what we want to do here is to create individual letters for all the employees and we would also like to change the file name to the employee name so let me show you the data set and tell you what we want to do we have four names that have been given to us so we have hagrid harry hermione and ron and we have the performance and the potential score what we would like to do is to create four individual word documents one for hagrid one for harry one for hermione and one for ron let me first create a word document let's just call this temp for now and in this we will create the letter that we want so in the layout i will first reduce the margin and we can write hello your performance score is and your potential score is so we would like the name here after hello the performance score here and the potential score at the very end on mailings start mail merge step by step mail merge wizard we click on starting document select recipients and then we can browse and select the list that we have so this would be the excel file that i showed to you earlier right now it is on my desktop so we will select example underscore data the sheet gets picked up there is only one sheet that we have right now let's click on okay and you can see we have the three columns that i've got picked up the name the performance and the potential click on okay and then write your letter and now we can go to mailings insert merge field and then insert the name here then after the performance score is we will insert the performance score and then finally we will insert the potential at the end let me also make this bold like this we can also preview the results and we can see the results like this what we would also like to do now is to put three slashes before hello and these would appear in each of the four documents now these three slashes can be replaced with any text that you want but this is the same text that has to be repeated in the vba code as well let us go to finish and merge and edit individual documents select all okay and you can see that four documents have been created one for each of the employee names now we will go to file save as and i want to save it on my desktop but we will create a folder so a new folder let's just call this combined and please make sure to save this not as a docx but as a docm that would be a macro enabled document let's click on save now you can take the vba code that has been given to you this would be the vba code word 
just copy the entire thing come back to your DOCM document go to view and you will see we have an option for macros here but the point is that we can't run the code since the code first has to be pasted for this you can go to file options customize ribbon and then enable the developer tab you only have to do this one time and click on ok now the developer tab appears here we can go to visual basic and in this interface we can see this is the file which is hello hagrid then we have this document on the file you can right click and insert a module and simply paste the code that you had copied earlier you can see here these are the three characters that i have written so if for some reason you want to use a different set of characters in the original word document when you were doing edit individual documents you can replace that in the word but you will have to change that here as well what we need to do now is to select the second subroutine just click anywhere within the macro and click on this green arrow which is called run another way to do this would be to go to developer and then go to macros and then you have a macro here called test and you can click on run it gives you a prompt saying that it will split the document click on yes the screen will flash for a bit let me close this and in the combined folder you can see that four files have been created file 001 2 3 and 4 and if i open any one of these you can see that we have one document for hagrid if i open the second one we have one for harry and so on and so forth so we have managed to create four individual letters for four employees but we would also like to change the file name for this i am going to go to the example rename macro here you can see that the macro is already inside the excel file so you can go to developer macros and you can see that there is a macro created called rename all file names in a folder if you go to visual basic you can also see that in the workbook example rename macro there is a module and this module has the code in it the only thing you need to do now is to put the new file names that you would like and then put the folder path in d2 so i can come here and copy the path from here paste it here and remember to put a slash at the end all we have to do now is to go to macros and select the macro click on run it gives us an error let's quickly see what the problem is so do keep in mind that the name of the sheet has to be sheet rename so let me just make this sheet rename and in macros we will run the macro once again it gives you a prompt saying all the files have been renamed successfully and if i go back to the folder you can see that now we have hagrid harry hermione and ron so this is what you have to do to create individual letters with the names also getting picked up and this would uh, work with any number of files that you have.